welcome back to Politics. In today's show, we're talking about the burqa. Yes, again, it's the issue that won't go away in France. Last week, the government has, had proposed a new law to ban the burqa, but that's not all that's happened recently. Another incident has come into the mix, an incident that could potentially be explosive. Let's watch more. It is an incident that has thrown fuel on an already fiery national debate. Last Thursday, a young French woman was given a fine of 22 euros for driving her car while wearing a niqab or face veil that left only her eyes exposed. One of the policemen said to me, I don't know how it works in your country, but in ours we don't drive like that. I said, this is my country, I'm French. Over the weekend, details emerged about the woman's husband, Lies Ebadj. Originally from Algeria and naturalized in France in 1999, the 35-year-old is reported to have 12 children with four wives, but only one is officially recognized. Each of the women receives state benefits for being a single parent. Now France's Minister of the Interior, Brice Hortefeu, has asked immigration to look into the possibility of stripping her badge of his French citizenship, sparking indignation. The controversy is politically charged. After months of indecision, French President Nicolas Sarkozy announced last week that the government will write a law banning head-to-toe veils in public places. France's left-wing parties accused the right of exploiting the case for political gains. Today, Mr. Ortifo is, in our opinion, the best friend to extremists by giving them this outrageous publicity and arena to express themselves. For his part, Mr. Habaj says he's done nothing wrong. As far as I know, mistresses are not illegal in France, nor in Islam, but maybe in Christianity, but not in France. According to French law, polygamy is illegal, and violators can face up to a year in prison and a 45,000 euro fine. But only civil marriages are taken into account. Religious and common law marriages are not. In addition, French civil code cites very few circumstances for which a French citizen can be stripped of their nationality, as in the case of an act of terrorism. France's immigration minister has hinted at a possible change in the law. If the French people believe that you shouldn't be allowed to access social benefits while in a polygamous situation, then we could well come up with a legislative solution. On Monday, the president of the French Council for the Muslim Faith, or CFCM, met with Prime Minister Francois Fillon to discuss the incident. I think that this is a small matter that has been blown out of proportion by the media. The CFCM is against the full-length veil, but is not in favor of a law banning it, a law that concerns only a small fraction of the French Muslim population. So I'm joined on set again uh, for the second half of the debate by Don Morrison, contributor to Time here in Paris, by Benjamin Lancard, who is president of the UMP's youth movement. And I'd like to welcome uh, José Manuel Lamarck, who is a Hello. journalist at France Inter Radio. So you're the newcomer on set, so I'm going to start with you right away. It's a pleasure. <laughs> what does Lies Habaj, a possibly polygamous Muslim French citizen, have to do with the issue of the burqa? Well, I, I think it's not a burqa, it's much more a niqab. But the You're first right. thing. The issue of the veil. Yes. Uh, the first thing is uh, France is a republic, a democracy with its con constitution. There's a separation in France between church and state. That's the way to do. First. Uh, in this constitution, in, in the law, polygamy is impossible, mm -hmm. it's forbidden. The fact now is that we have to understand and we, have to, uh, and we need a real debate, uh, uh, a real debate with the question of the niqab in France. Elisabeth Badinter, the philosopher, said that the body is not the face. And her husband, Robert Badinter, said that uh, in our country and civilization, we are not used to cover the face. Right. Okay. After, uh, I've seen during waiting for uh, this debate, I was uh, looking, uh, watching uh, on TV, France 24 in French, mm -hmm. and there was um, an interview with in, in the Muslim community. Some women were asked, "What do you, do you think about this?" The answer was that we want to live our religion as we like, but they forgot that they can live their religion 
uh, in regard of the Constitution. Right. So Me, as personally, as a Catholic, uh, if I would like to, to, to live fully, plainly, my religion, I have to respect the Constitution, too. Well, let, let me thing- actually stop you there, because that's one of the key issues um, about, about, the, about this law. After all, we are talking about we, a law, and we are talking about the Constitution. We need, we need a real decision, and stopping turning over right. the cream pot. Right. So we have to know if it's uh, possible, yes or not. If it's allowed, yes or not. But right. uh, centrally, and I'm not talking about this specific case, which it's much more politician than other things, uh, driving with a niqab, I'm sorry, if you drive your car with a mask, mm-hmm. you can put the what, mask of Mr. Sarkozy or Mickey Mouse. What about sunglasses? What about sunglasses? Sunglasses. What about stiletto heel? No. <laughs> sunglasses don't so cover I can, the I face. Can, so I could also I could have other there articles of clothing. There are lots but of accessories that could block your I view want, or impair your driving. You, if I, I drive a car with a mask, I will be arrested too. I just well, want to say the idea you shouldn't. No one should be kidding about this, his, his story because the key issue right now is about. Um, the, 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 the way you treat women and, and women can, well, can be treated in this country plus you just said the key issue really you said the key issue freedom on, of secularism <laughs> in our country so we need to be very strong on this issue and you should not this is, love maybe this you can love the, because it's not your own country well, well, but I am French I am very strongly attached to this country, country by the way. and I, I should I cannot what? accept that any woman wears a bouquet and I just say an example one, one problem we are fighting against Talibans in Afghanistan in Afghanistan they oblige women to wear niqab why should we allow in France what we are fighting against Time in out. the Did you know in that Afghanistan? The government that What's your understanding for the government of Afghanistan? Let's, 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 making let's, making let's, let's making let, let Mr. Morrison answer? answer the question. That, so, wait, no, that hold on one second. So, it's just a, a security problem. We need a decision, a decision just for our national security. Total interdiction. All right, so let me, let me stop both of you. Because here, so, and let me bring in, actually, we still have via satellite, Amel Boubecker. She's with us from Beirut, the associate scholar at the Carnegie Middle East Center. Amel, let's ask you this question. On the one hand, there's a security argument. On the other hand, there's a women's argument. Does this it's law... It's a mixed argument. It's a mixed argument. No. Um, you know, are, are we protecting women with this law, Amel? I'm not, I'm not sure, and you know, I mean, we are prompt to uh, and, and um, with with right reasons to denounce the fact that, for example, in Saudi Arabia, a woman cannot drive a car. So I'm happy right. that at least women can drive a car, <laughs> even with the niqab in France. But the thing is not really is not really that's not really the point. I think the main point is really about nationality. When you acquire nas- French nationality, if you do something illegal, then you are just putting putting in jail. I mean, that's sh- that's how it should be. But if, you know, you introduce the notion of the, of the fact that nationality can be taken away because you're right. Muslim or because you're belonging to a radical group or because you, perce- you are perceived as an external trait, I think, again, that's a totally wrong debate. Mm. Once we will understand that these guys are French or are doing these kind of things or making these kind of choices because of their French environment and their French-based perceptions, then we will have the first solution well, for, uh, for this problem. Um, Amel, you, you, do, you do bring up an issue which is, which is an important one. After all, you know, in, in, the, in the rush of this debate about this new law, suddenly this man emerges who is a Muslim, who is possibly polygamous, who is possibly committing fraud also, and now we're talking about taking away his nationality. This is all kind of a big uh, think, mix way, up of we're talking about the Nikon, but we're talking points. about polygamy or are we talking about wearing a veil that's, that's, and why, that's the why suddenly we have these two about? issues become conflated you put your finger on the danger here the danger here is not that we're going to focus on the wrong issue. The danger is that we're going to use this issue, connect it with another issue, and all of these issues somehow have something to do with Islam, with Muslims, with their role in society, and with stigmatizing them. We don't have any, what I just want to say, we, we don't have anything against the Muslims, you cannot say that Mr. Sarkozy created the CFCM. Well, you which, don't like their polygamy like and you don't like their clothing. Like, like Napoleon created <coughs> the consistoire for the Jewish community, so you cannot say the that CFCM Mr. CFCM is a body yeah. of, of Muslim representation yeah, in France. Right. So, right. so you cannot say that Mr. Sarkozy or even the government, you, you can, he, he does not like Muslims. It's not possible. It's a caricature. You should not say that. And what I'm very sa- sad to see right now is that you, 
both of you don't have any proposition. You're just saying, oh, this debate is not a good debate. It's not very uh, an adult position. So what I just want to say, we are for debating. total interdiction, uh, and I want to, to tell you a small story. Well, I debated well, on France well, 24, well, thanks well, to you. Hold on, Benjamin. You're saying that he doesn't have a proposition. He's saying that he might. What, what is your proposition? proposition. My proposition is to stop taking a problem that isn't really a very big problem and turning it into issue number one in France. Uh, instead, focus on the problems that really are serious. We are leading the, the economy, pension reform. the integration of France's minorities the, into society, making French the education system in this country is uh, a mess. Well, so the healthcare will, system. We can't, we can't, we can't, we can't hear both of you at once. So you speak about every you, 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 you speak about three different we'll points. I want to speak about the Nikim. The fact that if the man is polygam, is French, polygamy is forbidden, he goes to jail. That's all. Just a judge will decide. All right. That's all. Okay. So I, just, I, I, I don't no, want I no. don't want him to be French or not French and uh, lose his nationality. Right, but this but is not the so, debate. So that's so that's that's an interesting yeah. point because you know under normal circumstances maybe before the debate about the burqa that would have been the issue. Are we now are we conflating issues? I think are they that related? The, the the problem of the niqab regards a minority of Muslims in France, not the majority, but just a minority. So that's what we need now, a law, and uh, just a decision to, to, to tell that it's forbidden, yes or not. That's the first point. All right. So on, on the other way, and for the other points, like polygamy, blah, 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 this man is French. Okay, he has to respect the law of his country. That's all. But it's possible to, to raise the question, is polygamy allowed? And if it's not, it's can not we allowed. Do we have to? Yeah, okay, but we can uh, raise the question. Can we change the law so that he may be depraved of the nationality? I mean, we can ask the question. It's possible in France. We, but we, what I just we want to in answer. France can't change the constitution for of course. Uh, You're religion. Right. You're the church and the state in France are separated. But That's what all. I just want to, mm -hmm. to say, uh, you know, first, many people say, uh, Mr. Morrison and Amel Boubaker, they say, okay, uh, we are stigmatizing, stigmatizing the, the Muslim community. I was, uh, at the beginning, against the law. And I, I debated on France 24 <laughs> against um, the, the, lead, the, lead, the leader of the Niput Nisumis, who is mm -hmm. an uh, NGO uh, leading the struggle against uh, the very integrist uh, Muslim part against women in, in the suburbs, in the popular areas uh, around, Paris, around Paris and all over France. And she told me, if you are saying that you don't want to stigmatize, you are doing so. because You know what? Because you are considering that this very small part is a whole majority, and you are not, you are not separating that there is a huge part, the mainstream of the Muslim community, who is not like that, and the rest. And we are to be very strong against the rest, because right, otherwise so, so it's a weakness of, the, so of the, our republic. And I'm very sad, but maybe you are not American, you are not French. That's, 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 that's why. No, but I see, a, I see a very disturbing pattern here. We had a, a few years ago, we, we had a debate over whether or not children nation. should be allowed uh, to wear veils in school. Well, guess what? It's Muslims who wear veils, not Jews or Christians. Now we have a debate about whether certain women should be allowed to wear full uh, veils. Guess what? They happen to be Muslims. Um, well, what's the next debate? Is it going to be about well, whether halal fact, butchers well, are uh, unsanitary? If I were... Can I ask you a question? Yeah, Benjamin, I'm, 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 I'm going to interrupt you. I'm going to interrupt you because... I have to stop you both. I have to stop you both because because if you're both talking, we can't hear you. So, Amel, I know you wanted to get in and respond to Benjamin. Amel, go ahead. Yeah, Benjamin, I haven't said myself that you are stigmatizing uh, yeah, Muslims. Indeed, indeed. I say that Muslims, please, no, let me finish. You asked me a question, so I'm going to answer your question. I say that the feeling, actually, that Muslims have in France is that, yeah, there are cyclic controversies on whatever uh, topic, the, the, the cartoons, the veil, uh, but still, Islamophobia is not targeted by the government as it should be. That's one thing. Then I answer look, your question, what are the solutions? Yeah. Making it a common issue, making people being in solidarity, for example, with discriminated women, being Muslims or not, be wearing the niqab or not. So that nothing again has been done in terms of women empowerment and specifically in terms of Muslim women empowerment. No, Niput, then you have this huge problem. Niput, then you have this huge problem. Then you have this huge problem of 
uh, having a rising majority of French Muslims mm. who don't, who actually do not know what Islam is saying about the niqab or what Islam is saying about about a lot of things. So try to do real work and try to actually. Cr you, you, you mentioned, for example, the CFCM, the, the French uh, uh, Council of Muslim Worship. The CFCM is, has much more addressed political issues rather than cultural and pragmatical right. issues on the ground. So right. that's that's what is really missing in France. So actually, you know, we're, we're getting to the end of the debate, and, and Amel, you bring this back to one of the key issues that, that I wanted to bring up in this part of the debate, you know, and, and José Manuel, you mentioned this too. It's the question of, are we having the right debate? Is this the debate that we should be having right only, now in only, France? Only one thing, only one thing. In France, for uh, security reasons, you can't cover your face. If I walk in the street with a mask, if I go to the bank with, with a mask, if I go to the post office with a mask, I think the people will call the police because they, they, they wouldn't know what I want to do with my mask. That's all. It's, just, it's not a, a question of a, a, a religion of minority. It's, it's impossible. You can't cover your face. That's all. It's not a question of racism or things like that. No, it's just impossible. So you're, you're saying it really is just about security. But the problem is we are also talking about a certain specific population. Amel tells us, or she feels that this population, they do have some issues, but this is not the way to address the issues. You know, it, it kind of comes back to a question that, that we haven't asked yet, which is, you know, why, why are we having this debate this population. now? The, the whole majority of Muslims in France don't, if, don't live like that. For it's sure. just regarding a, a minority. So, yeah, why, so, so it's regarding a minority, and, you know, and, 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 one of the, and one of the objections that some people have proposed this debate, this, that the socialist opposition says in particular, well, look, this is a great debate to have. You know, the, the, the right wing isn't doing so well right now. Sarkozy has plummeted in, in the polls. He didn't have such good results at the latest regional elections. And this is a Are debate that kind of gets, sure. you know, no, when, I'm, just, I'm summing up, I'm summing up the opposition just, position. We don't have one on, on, on regarding the, the, so, the Regarding so, the political side of this debate, it's a false debate. Well, let's, no, get, let's get Benjamin to respond to this, uh, you know, I, and that's, that's what a lot of the socialists are saying. Segrène Royal notably said that, you know, this is, th this is a lot of electoral politicking. You'll have the last word, Benjamin, no, so make I, it quick. I, I'm just saying, it's not first. Uh, Catholics are also sometimes the, uh, attacked when, for instance, the Pope is saying str strange things. So, you know, in France, it's common to attack religion. So you, you cannot say uh, that Catholics or, or Muslims are, 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 di are treated, treated differently. It's wrong. First thing. Secondly, um, what I want to say, this debate was raised by a communist MP before uh, the, the, the fall 2009. This debate is raising right now because, I mean, the, the French people are interested and the, and the polls show that they want a total ban. So we are just doing well, what we feel I'm, important I'm, for I'm French and important I'm for French I'm going to have French to stop people. you there. That'll be the last word. And it is an interesting last word, which is that, like it or not, the debate is still around and it's still a fantastic one that gets up a lot of spirit and a lot of energy. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for following us. And I hope you stay tuned to France 24.